Example is 173.5 and 173.6. In these problems, we're finding chi-squared critical values. And I'm going to draw the curve so you can see what that looks like, basically. A chi-squared curve kind of looks like an F curve. It has that sort of very right-skewed look to it. So we're going to draw a right-skewed curve and call that our chi-squared curve. Now, the way the curve is set up when we're looking for a critical value is it's going to be a right-tailed test, and we're going to have this chi-squared critical value here at the bottom, separating the shaded area here from the rest of the curve. Okay? And this is going to be the area in our hypothesis testing. We're going to say that this is the rejection region, and this will be the do not reject region. Since the value is squared, this starting point will be at zero. It can't be negative because it's a squared quantity. And the area in this tail is going to be referred to as alpha. So that's why we have chi squared alpha, comma, degrees of freedom. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our table now, looking up an alpha of 10% and a degrees of freedom of 6, and let's find the chi squared value in that case. So this is exactly example 173.5 we're doing first. So we're looking at our chi-squared table and we're trying to find the 0 0.10 and degrees of freedom 6 position. So 0 0.10 is not among the first five columns here, so we're going to have to go to the second page of the table. The second page of the table has those alpha values that we're more used to working with. So let's take a look at that then. When we turn to that area of the table, we see that we find 0.10 in the first column, and we're going to go down to 6 degrees of freedom, and we find the number 10.6446. Okay, so we found the value 10.6446. So that is your chi-squared critical value for example 173.5. So for example 173.5, we have this critical value. All right, let's draw the curve then for the next one. So again, a long right skewed drawing here. And again, we'll have a shaded area here in the tail. We're going to say that the area in this tail is again equal to alpha. In this particular problem, that alpha is going to be 0 0.005. And the degrees of freedom for our chi-squared value is going to be 3 in this next problem. So let's try to look up that value and see what we come up with here for example 173.6, 173.6. Okay, let's go to our table and look up those two numbers and see what we find. As so we're back at the table here, we're looking in the 0 .005 column, the 0 .005 column is here. And we're going to go down to 3 degrees of freedom, we find 12.8381. Okay, so we found the answer 12.8381. So that's your chi-squared critical value in this scenario where you have alpha of 0 0.005 and 3 degrees of freedom.